crafty friends welcome to the last day of rainbow week slash fortnight as promised yesterday here are the handful of distress oxides that i haven't used so far in this little series so i'm going to use them today and i'm going to use them to color some paper that i'm going to make flowers from we've got spun sugar warm lipstick saltwater taffy festive berries victorian velvet and pumice stone and these all work together nicely, I think. We've got pinks, a red, a dusky, dusty pink and a warm grey. So these, this is a nice warm grey tone that will work well with these. And all I'm going to do is smush them all over this piece of paper and then die cut hundreds of flowers from them and then select some to make a card with. Now, I know that I've said that I don't like smushing festive berries because it looks like there's been some kind of accident. But because I'm going to cut small die cuts from it, that should minimise the uh, blood spatter effect. Right, that's enough waffling. Let's get on with it. So I think the easiest thing to do is just going to be to smush them all down. Add water to all of them to make some paint. I'm armed with some baby wipes so I can wipe my smusher between colours. And then I'm just going to smush on one colour at a time. I may do a second layer. We'll just see how it looks. do want a bit more spun sugar though, it's such a light colour. We'll give a bit more smushing there. Okay, I'm going to dry that and then I think I will do a second coat. If you want to know how to make and use a smusher, I have created a playlist that has the instruction video plus all the cards that I've made using the smusher. I will link that in the description box below and up in the little eye in the corner. So you can just hit play on that and you'll have access to all the smusher videos. Now I'm going to cut this down and run it with the die through. I think this one fits in my mini Gemini so I'll do that because it's just the easiest one to use. Right, there we have a lovely pile of little flowers in various pinks and a warm grey. What I'm going to do now is take, yep, that's got glue coming out of it. I'm going to make a little mountain of glue here and grab some tweezers and I'm going to construct some flowers and grab some different coloured layers and layer them up in an attractive way so that looks a bit like saltwater taffy and that's going on to whoops where's that one gone that's gone on to I think a bit of warm lipstick so I'm going to do that it's going to take me a while because I want quite a lot of flowers uh, and then I'll come back to you okay so now I've got a whole bunch of two layer flowers I have giving them a bit of extra dimension using my embossing tool. I'll just show you how I did that. So I've got this one. There's lots of different sizes you can get. I've got a few different sizes, but this is the one I use most often. And for the big flowers, I press down with the big ball, give it a little wiggle and the petals pop up and give some lovely dimension. With the smaller flowers, sometimes I press down and give a wiggle with the small end, like this. And sometimes with the teeny tiny flowers, all I need to do is push and then they 
pop up. And this is just a piece of craft foam, fun foam, to uh, give the embossing tool something to push down into. Right, we'll set those to one side for a minute and start work on my card. So this is smooth white cardstock, five by seven inches card blank. And this is gonna be a thank you card. And I want to put my thank you up there. And eventually the top panel will have a circle cut out of it around about there like that. So I think that is where I want my thank you to be. Let's do that again, because I've just, just jogged it. About there. So the words sit about two thirds of the way up. Uh, I might move it over a bit, I think, because I want this circle to hang off, to kind of be cut off, just for a bit of extra interest. About there, see if we can get that off. And I'm going to heat emboss this, pop it right in the corner of my stamp positioner. Pick up my stamp. Okay, so that's all in the right place now. I'm going to treat this with cornflour as usual and stamp with embossing ink. This stamp is from a set that I picked up at the charity shop the weekend. It's got no branding with it at all, so no idea. It was with a bunch of other stamps from Crafter's Companion, so that might be from Crafter's Companion. I chose this stamp because it's got a nice big scripty font, which I think will go well with the flowers. Sort of an elegant bit of writing. I'll just do this twice to make sure it has plenty of ink on it. And then I'll dip it in my gold embossing powder and heat it with my heat tool. It's warped the paper, the card, a little bit, but that's okay. By the time I get everything else stuck on, it'll all be fine. So I'm going to add a panel on the front that's just a little bit shorter and a little bit shallower, thinner, is that the right word, all the way round. So my circle is going to go about there in my top panel and what would have been helpful, first of all, is to have cut the circle out of my panel, put it on and then I would have known where to stamp. But I've done it back to front, but that's okay. We can work around it. I think that will do. And I'm gonna pop a bit of sticky note there and have that there like that. And then put my panel where I want it, press that down and that will cut through and it will cut through with the uh, not the nice side on the right side but I'm going to stick my flowers around the edge of the circle so that will all be hidden right back in a tick so there we have it the circle is cut hopefully in the right place I'm going to cover the back of this in craft foam and stick it on there to add foam around the circle I'm going to take the release paper off a bit at a time and that just makes it so much easier to curve the double-sided foam tape you could just cut lots of little bits of straight line whatever works for you we'll pop that there and just get another little bit there to support the middle bit I'm going to put the card upside down so that the important bit is closest to me. I'll be able to see it better then. So I think that's on straight, more or less. Now I'm going to add some flowers around the circle. So they're going on the raised up portion 
And I'm going to start with the big flowers, just dip them in some glue, just in the middle, and put those around the outside. And I think it's always a good idea to start with your biggest shape, because then you can slot the smaller ones in. Now the dark red, the festive berries flowers, are really quite bold. And they act as a sort of, I guess, anchor point for the eye. Your eye will go immediately to the thing that is the boldest, that stands out. So I want to have those distributed nicely so that uh, they don't drag the eye where I don't want it to go. So I think that's enough big ones. Now we'll go down to the middle size. I haven't given these flowers any centres yet. But I will do. And now we'll get some teeny tiny ones. I'm going to pop this little one on top of there, so I might give a few of the flowers, more than two layers. Now, what have we got? I did keep back some teeny tiny ones that haven't got any layers to them. They're hiding around and about and they can be tucked in any gap. You don't have to fill in the <coughs> whole circle with flowers. You could just do a little cluster here, a little cluster here maybe. You might find that using uh, mini glue dots or something is good for anchoring these down. Or maybe some hot glue from a hot glue gun. And some of these small ones, where are we? I've got any left yet. I'm going to pop some of these single small ones in here a bit. So I've got three small ones clustered around my sentiment. I'm going to hold it up and squint at it to see if it needs a bit more anywhere shape-wise to make it look like a nice circle. Right, I think the circle is complete. I've still got plenty of flowers left so I can make a whole nother card. And to add my flower centres, I'm going to squirt in a circle of bright gold, bright gold, pale gold, pale gold Nouveau drops. I'm just going to work them away around the circle. Try and get them roughly in the middle of the flowers. You could use little enamel dots for these. You could use uh, little circles of gold cardstock that you'd cut using a die. I think to finish this card off, or rather than finish it off, do something at an earlier stage, I might have liked to add a bit of faux stitching with a die or um, embossing tool of some description or an embossing folder just around the four sides of that inner card. I think that might have given it a bit of, I don't know, something there. But as it is, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to run my fingernail down the edge of that panel, not to distress it, but to just bevel it ever so slightly so it looks a bit more finished. Right, I think we're done. I'm happy with the card. I hope you've enjoyed the video and the whole series. 
And if you've been inspired to make any cards by this series, do come along to my Facebook group and share some photos. We'd all love to see them. It's a really lovely group and everyone is extremely supportive and kind. Right, that'll do. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.